Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will introduce you to the way the console deals with tracking. The HOG4 console is a tracking console which means that it only stores changes in queues. In a non-tracking console, a value for every parameter gets recorded into every queue, which becomes a problem when trying to combine different queues to create one look on stage. To demonstrate tracking and how hard values and tracked values are displayed, I have recorded three queues. The right hand display is currently showing the contents of queue 1 and we can see that some values are displayed in red. These are the hard values in my queue. In other words, these are the actual values programmed into this queue. When I press go, these values can be seen in the output window. I have selected follow current in the queue editor and so as I play each queue you will be able to compare the console output on the left versus the actual content of each queue on the right. If I go on queue 2 we can see that most of the data has turned pale blue. This means that these are tracked values and no value for these parameters exist in this queue. However, on solar spots 6 through 10, the position and colour information has turned red, meaning that these parameters have a value or a reference to a palette recorded in this queue. Looking at the output screen, we can see all our lights are still as they were in Q1, except that 6 through 10 have moved to the audience position and have changed to the colour blue. This is referred to as our state and is formed from a combination of both hard and tracked values. Going on Q3, again, most of the parameters are light blue, meaning that no change will be made to the outputted value. We can see fixtures 1 through 5 are showing at 0% in green. The green colour indicates a hard value in this queue, but that the intensity level has decreased. When the intensity parameter is displayed in red, this means the level is increasing. The colour information for 6 through 10 has turned black and this is because there is recorded data in this queue to turn the fixtures blue. However, the fixtures were already blue in a previous queue. This is called a blocked value. If I decided to change these five fixtures to a different colour in queue 2, they would still change back to blue in queue 3 because this repeated information would still exist and stop the new colour from tracking through. By default, the console will always track forwards. This means that when a parameter value is recorded or updated in a queue, that parameter will then remain unchanged in subsequent queues until a new value is assigned to it. In many cases, this is the desired outcome, but you may want to make a change to a queue or add a new queue in between two queues where the new value does not track forwards. This is referred to as queue only. To demonstrate this, we have already seen that in Q1, fixtures 6 through 10 fade up to 100%, and because that is the only value that exists for them, they stay at that level through Q2 and 3. I will now go back to Q1 and change the level of fixture 6 to 70%. I will press the update key and confirm that I want to update Q1. Looking at the content of the queues, I can see this change has tracked through. I will now do the same with fixture 7 and change that to 70%. This time I will hold down the update key and deselect the track forwards option on the toolbar. Release the update key and confirm. This time when we look at the contents we can see the hard value in Q1 but there is now also a hard value in Q2 to restore the level of fixture 7 to what it would have been at in this queue before the update was made to Q1. It's also possible to track backwards. Let's use the same example, but this time working from Q3. Fixtures 8 through 10 are still at 100%, and we know that this information has tracked through from Q1. I might decide that the intensity of fixture 9 has been too high from the start of the show, so I will change its level to 40%. If I press the update key, the auto update window opens and offers me the current Q3 to update. Click OK to confirm. Looking at my queue contents, I can see that by making this change in Q3, the intensity is still at 100% in Q1 and 2, and only changes to 40% in Q3. Let's now do the same with fixture 10 and change that to 40%. Press update and this time select track backwards. Rather than updating the value in Q3, 
the console now updates the last hard value for that parameter, which in our example is the value in Q1. Now when we look at our contents, we can see that fixture 10 is at 40% in Q1, and this value tracks through Q2 and 3. It is possible to block entire queues, ensuring that any changes to live parameters do not track through into that blocked queue. To block Q3, press Q3 copy, then select the state soft key, 3, enter, followed by the replace option. If we now view this queue, we can see that all the previously tracked values have turned black, indicating that they are now blocked. Sometimes you may wish to just block certain parameters, and this can be done using the touch soft key. Touching a parameter draws its current value into the editor, whether that be a hard value or a reference to a palette. To do this, first of all make this the live editor by pressing the edit button. Then select fixtures 1 through 5, followed by position and touch. This draws the current value into the editor, which is a reference to the downstage center position palette. Press update or deselect the edit button to make this block. An individual parameter can be touched by holding down the touch soft key and nudging the encoder wheel for that parameter. To unblock a whole queue, press Q3 followed by the unblock soft key followed by enter. You can unblock certain kinds by pressing any of the kind buttons before the unblock soft key. You can also unblock entire queue lists by pressing list followed by the list number, unblock, enter. Finally, to unblock the currently chosen list, simply press unblock followed by the choose key. In the next tutorial, we will take a look at how to set up user kinds. Thank you for watching.